so hey guys welcome back so in this lecture i am going to explain how you can download and install the sonar cube latest version on your local system so today we are going to set up the sonar cube latest version on my windows machine and what are the requirements that you can start the sonar cube server on your local systems so i am going to tell you step by step so you just follow the steps and finally we will be able to access the sonar cube web server portal so first you need to go to the sonar cube official website so you can go to the google and there you can type the sonar cube latest version once you type and press the enter then you will see the official website of the sonar cube server so from this website we are going to download the latest version of the sonar cube so if you click on download the sonar cube the first link then you will see this page okay and under this page you will have the different type of the version so these are the released version in the october 2024 and the latest version is the 10.7 now uh for our purpose for the learnings we will download the community edition because this is the free and the open source for our testing purpose so we are going to download this one but if you are looking for the business purposes you can choose one of them out of developer enterprise and data center edition as per your requirement now uh, we will select the download for the free so these are all the features this uh, included with the community edition of the sonar cube server so i am going to download this one so this so now to download this community editions click on download for free and once you click on download for free it will ask you the two options first you can sign up with your email id and download or if you want download directly then you can click on download only so when you click on download only you will see the sonar cube downloading will start shortly and if you go to your download folder then you will see the sonar cube 10.7 is getting downloaded i have already downloaded this one so i am going to close this one okay i am just going to stop the downloaded i have already downloaded the sonar cube 10.7 so the downloading will take around 3 to 4 minutes depends on your internet speed so i will go to this downloaded folder so here i have downloaded the sonar cube 10.7 version and i just copy this sonar cube server on my uh, one folder the cube course content folder so in that i have the sonar cube 10.7 i have already extract this file so once you have the zip file you just right click and you can extract here okay and after that you just go to inside this folder earlier versions what we will do we just go to the con folder and there we will have the reaper.con file and there we have to maintain the java version but in the latest version we no need to maintain the java version we will directly go to the bin folder and the, inside the build folder uh, we have these pay folders so this is for the linux if you are working with the linux operating system then you can select this one if you are working with the macintox operating system you can select this folder and if you are working with the windows operating system then you can select this version so as of now we are working with the windows 10 on my local system so i will go to this folder inside this folders i have the two batch file one is the start sonar.batch file and sonar service.batch file so to start the sonar cube we will double click on this dot batch file but before we need to confirm few things the first things i need to confirm the java version on my local system so for that i will go to the command prompt and on the command prompt first i will check the java is installed or not so i will type the java c and if i have installed the java on my local systems it will give me the instructions that the java is already installed in your system so here is the note the sonar cube latest version will work till java 17 if you going with above with the 17 of the jdk version it will give you the exception so best you can set up the jdk 8 9 or 17 version on your local system so here till 17 i have installed so java is already installed my system so now let me check the java version java hyphen version 
So here you will see the Java version 17 is already installed. How I will check? So, so to confirm the Java version, I will go to the my PC. I will go to the properties. Inside the properties, I will go to the system settings, then environmental variables. Here my Java home variable is already set up. JDK 7.0.5 and if you go to the path and if I add it, you will see the JDK 17 bin folder is already set up. That means the Java is already set up on my local system. Without that, you cannot start the Sonar Cube server on your local system. So now how you can download and set up the Java? You can watch the another video to download and set up the Java on your local system. So once your Java is set up on your local systems, now we are ready to start the Sonar Cube server. I'm just going to click on this batch file. I just double click on this one. So it is saying the starting the Sonar Cube server. So it will take around one to two minutes to be up and running on your local system. So okay, so now our Sonar Cube server is up and running. So uh, now how to access the Sonar Cube web server? So if you seeing this Sonar Cube is operational and it's up. So that means your Sonar Cube web server is up and running on your local systems. And here you can see the one more warning the default administrator credentials are still being used. So it will give the admin credentials and that we have to change and the password for our account. So now how we can access this Sonar QA portal. So you just go to your web browser and there you just type localhost 9 triple zero so you just make sure the sonar cube server is running on nine triple zero on local host so that is a local port number so you enter the local host colon nine zero and when you access this one you will see the sonar cube server is up and running so here it is asking logging to sonar cube this is the login admin okay and this is default password is also the admin so first time you just log in to the admin enter the admin as a password and now it is asking to change the password because this is using the admin password default password so as of now we will keep the admin so these are the password conditions 12 characters should be there one uppercase letter one lowercase letter one number and one special characters okay so you need to enter the password in the same format now we just want to update the password so this is the password and we just updated the password for that now you can see that we are able to access the sonar Q web server portal so this is the web portal server and this is the sonar cube this is the project sections okay here uh, we are going to import the project from the azure devops github bitbucket and the gitlab and the Bitbucket server. So like that you can download and set up the SonarCube server on your local Windows machine and you can start the SonarCube server on your local system.